You know what, Boone? If we're going into Gamora, I would like to know some information about the Omeltus. The guys that run the place. Luckily, I've got someone who knows exactly what information to give me. We're going to go see my yes man. Hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm going to have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to... Yeah, I know. I got that little business. I'm just... See ya. Have a good time, baby. Great. Hello. Yes, man. Oh, hi again. Can I help you with something else? <clears throat> Let's talk about the tribes I should uh, get to know. Please, go on. Um, what do you know about the Omatus? Hmm, I remember that Benny used to pay a receptionist at Gamora for information. Maybe she knows something. Alright, you know anything else? Just that Benny didn't like them. He talked on and on about how they couldn't be trusted. And this is coming from Benny. He hated their casino, said it was tacky, and he thought they were up to something. Because he said they always are. Okay, I'll check into them some more. Whenever you get around to it, we'll be just fine. Anything else I can help with? Uh, while I'm here... Uh, what do you know about the Brotherhood? They go around in big suits of power armor, and they have lots of energy weapons. But there's a downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. All I'm saying is, not much of a chance they'll accept a Vegas that polices itself with robots. I'll, uh, I'll work on that. No rush. Take your time. Anything else I can help with? Uh, last of, uh, of all, uh, what about the white gloves? From what I understand, they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Benny didn't like them, though. He said they were creepy. I'll, uh, I'll take it, check out the outro looks in a bit. Don't hurry on my account. I'm the one with a flexible schedule. Anything else I can help with? Alright, let's... I'm gonna go check out the rest of the strip. Sorry if that was getting boring. See you later. See you around! Okay, back to Gomorrah. That sounds like a good start, the receptionist knowing something. Hey, big guy. Looking for a good time? Not really. Hey, 
No one but Omertas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Okay. You'll get these back on your way out. Still got the pistol. Hey. Hello and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? I'm calling in for an outstanding balance on information. What are the Omertas up to? I knew someone would call in that mark soon. What do you want to know? What are they up to? Sorry, they don't tell me their plans and I don't want to know. I'm just happy they don't make me fuck anybody anymore. Fair enough. Uh, what's been going on around here? All I can tell you is to find Kachino. He's the lowest level lieutenant you're going to be able to talk to. Some of the girls say he's been involved in some shady business the family wouldn't really like. Ask him about it. Done. See ya. Bye. Big tough ranger better not start any trouble in here. You Chichina? I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? You've been doing some business on the site. Business? What the fuck do you mean, business? You looking to get yourself burned? Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. I hear you've been dealing with some business that's off limits for the family. I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. You again. What the fuck do you want? Hmm. What can you tell me about Gamora? I banged Lot's wife and licked a salty ass. The fuck do I look like? I'm the one asking the questions here. Now tell me why you've been dropping my name before I get some muscle over here and we find a private place to talk. Yeah, whatever. Bye. Alright, fuck this guy. See if we can find a way into his room. There's gotta be some dirt on him. The NCR seems none too happy about losing. Sounds like someone's enjoying themselves. Come on. Come on. Move, 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 move. Get in here, now. Boone. There's got to be something in here. Check the whole place. Suitcase is empty. Got bullets. <sighs> Can't find a fucking thing. Stay low, try not to make too much of a sound. As long as they don't think anyone's in here, we have an advantage. I 
Aha. Guys, journal. Let's see what you've been up to, huh? Uh, sales of chems and weapons. Personal finances, though. They're not uh, Omerta family. Ah. Joanna, huh? That will be side business. I'll bet the family aren't supposed to be fooling around with their own merchandise. Let's go to have a word with Joanna. Gorgeous. I knew you'd be back soon enough. Just want to ask some questions. All right, honey. What do you want to know? Questions about Gamora? Yes. Tell me about their clients. Everyone wants a piece of their own personal heaven. So they come here for hours. And hours, hun. <laughs> Military men. NCR ranchers, wandering travelers. They're all the same without their clothes on. What they want, the Omertas provide. Tell me about the Omertas. You best hold your tongue, friend. Or someone here will take care of it for good. All right. Goodbye. I'll see you soon, I'm sure. Dad doesn't find out how much money those hookers cost me. Hmm. Screw this. Everyone knows how to keep their lips too tight. Let's just take this journal straight to your cheek. Chat. Fucking why just why can't I even know a guy? Have some fun. Shut up. You again? What the fuck do you want? Hey, buddy, I found this ledger that proves some of your <laughs> side business. Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? Look, I'll consider giving it back for some cash up front. Okay, you got me by the balls. Here's a couple hundred caps. Maybe that'll buy you friendship. Okay. Do you think the family would like to see this? I can't stop you, but that's gonna mean my death. I can make it with you a while to give it to me, though. Plus, if you go to the bosses, I can't help you stop what they've been doing. I'll keep it for a little while. All right, all right. I can't stop you, but I think we can help each other out. I know not at home in the NCR would be happy to get some dirt on the family. I can help you get that dirt, and you got me by the short hairs. All right, let's talk. Hey, hey, look who it is. <laughs> My best buddy. Yeah, I hope you're looking to do s Why wouldn't you, you take come it? come into a back room and give me a chance? Didn't think so. Much as I'd love to put my fist through your neck, Mr. House frowns on that kind of behavior. So would it get me killed just as quick as that book? Is it worth a hundred caps? I can pay you for it, of course. I also have some information about the family's business that you might find interesting. Between you and I, we can break up what they're planning. Maybe save some lives. Mine included, of course. Alright, a hundred plans. A uh, hundred caps, and let's break up their plans. Oh, here's some caps. Now give me the journal. Right, there we go. So let me tell you what I know about the family's business. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. 
They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. Kind of specialist. I got no fucking idea. They let him have the run of the place, though. He seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too open. I've never seen him fucking a gambler. Everyone has a vice, but this guy seems like the Pope. Hmm. Couple more questions. Okay, toss them at me. Tell me about Trick. He's a skittish little fucker. Spends half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. He has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the strip. The bosses got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho, so he gets us guns in exchange for not ratting. All right, a couple more questions. Okay, toss them at me. And know anything about what they're planning? No, just that it involves guns and muscle. Also that it's big, very big. Only Nero and Big Saul know everything, and they ain't telling. All right, that's all the questions. Might have some more later, but for now I'm gonna talk to this trick. Okay, you can find me here or upstairs in my room. I'll let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. That should let you get around a little easier. Thanks. I just have to wait for the stealth boy to wear off. Find yourself a girl, or a guy. Have some fun. Ah! Hey there. Who are you? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chichino sent me to ask you about some guns? Chichino? Chichino what? Are you kidding me? You must be trying to get me killed. Look. All right, let's talk about something else then. What do you want to talk about? What exactly do you do? I don't see how that's your business. I'm just a guest here, having a little fun. All right, fine. Let's talk about what happened with the prostitute. Oh, man. I don't even like to think about it. All that goddamn blood. It was just in the hotel, like any other night. I took some chems with the girl I was with, but I never black out. I did this time, though. Next thing I knew, I woke up, she was lying next to me, stabbed dead. There was a knife next to the bed, and I was covered in her blood. Hmm. You know where the knife came from? I keep a little switchblade tucked away with me. You never know when you might find some trouble. Couple more questions. All right, have at it. What kind of chems were you doing? That night, mostly buff out. I like to cut it with a little bit of jet and wash it down with some whiskey. That was my standard Saturday night. Uh, that doesn't sound like enough to get you to lose the whole night. What? Yeah, you're right. I wonder what was up with that. Couple more questions, All right, buddy. Have at it. How'd the family find out? When I saw the body, I started screaming. In a few seconds, some of their soldiers were in there cleaning up the room. They offered to keep silent about what happened if I agreed to help them get their hands on large quantities of guns at deep discounts. Alright, that's it for now. See ya. Alright, there's gotta be some evidence of wrongdoing in amongst that lot I tell you not at home is gonna have his day house you gotta come up with a better name than not at home still know you're talking about house
this looks promising. Check out the safe. Took care of Troy, just like you asked. The stupid bitch tried to run away, made the perfect patsy. Get the double benefit of a stinking body serving as a warning to the rest of the girls. Troy was so fucked up. Well, that's my jet. We could have stabbed him in the balls and he wouldn't have said Daisy. We're gonna have a little vacation for a bit. Troy may have seen one of our faces while he was drifting in now, we don't want him to get suspicious. Hopefully, that scrawny little fuck does some good business for you. Thanks for the bonus. So, that's kind of like I thought. They killed the prostitute themselves and framed him. There wasn't enough drugs to make him black out. There's some serious shit going on between NCR and the Legion. Better not fuck with our pal. Let's go talk to Troik. You again. Make it quick. I'm proof of you being blackmailed. Well, that motherfucker. What the hell? Damn. Thanks for finding this. This would be plenty of proof to cover my ass if they try to rat me out to any authorities. Okay, so can you tell me about the guns? They're keeping them in a little utility section down off the basement. I don't know what they're arming themselves for, but I know it isn't for the good of mankind. How do you get them in? I'm pretty proud of myself. It's a stroke of genius if I could be so modest. The whole arrangement starts with an old buddy of mine in the Republic. He's responsible for packing and shipping supplies to the NCR on the Strip. He marks some containers as food and medical and packs them with guns and other shit. From there, it took just a couple of greased palms to get someone to let me cherry pick a container or two out of every shipment. Easy as pie. Couple more questions. Okay. Try and be fast about it. What can we do to take care of? As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Thermite burns as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about anything. I've been keeping it so if the family betrays me, I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. Okay, give me the thermite. I'll handle this. Okay, here's the thermite and a key to the room where the guns are stored. Place the thermite on the crates in the room. I rigged the light switch outside the room to kick off a spark big enough to hold the thermite. That should turn that shit into molten slag. As soon as we're done talking, I'm gonna make myself like a ghost. I don't want to be anywhere near here when the bosses find out. Done. That's it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna talk to this other guy before I blow the thermite, but I'll rig it now. Holy shit! What we got? 308s, flamers, flamer fuels, sniper rifles. I'll strip them of all of this useful stuff before I go. Can use the parts of these sniper rifles to repair Christine's. Come on. Thermite's loaded, there's the light switch. Come on. Let's go. Okay, what about this other guy?
Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? Yeah, just, uh, Kachino sent me to talk to you. Kachino? Yeah, I've heard the name. Not sure why he'd send you to me. Is he helping out with room service or something? So what exactly do you do around here? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. That's descriptive. Thanks for that. Uh, how did you end up wanting the hotel suites? I'm a close friend of some of the family around here. I do some independent contracting around the casino and they set me up at this great room. Hmm. Fine. Later. Gotta be something in here that gives us dirt on this guy. Knife and leather belt. Eyeglasses. Hmm. I don't know, maybe Chichino can give us some more of a look into this guy. We need to get back to the main level. So I think Chichino is still in Brimstone, at least for now. Chichino. Dead Zabada. I don't know. He might be in his room. Unless he's upstairs. I hear you chase that chicken shit Benny off. Good riddance. Okay, no sign of uh, Big Sal. Just see, I haven't seen. Have we placed enough thermite? Nah. There we go. Now it's rigged to blow. Blow it once we get the dirt on this guy. Welcome back to Gamora. Find yourself a girl or a guy and have a drink. Your family. Thank you. Now where the hell is Chichino? Buddy, you in here?
Maybe my pit boy's just still marking where he is. Maybe he is actually downstairs. Be sure to check out the courtyard. Some of the hottest asses in New Vegas shaking out there. Uh, I'll pass, thanks. I'm going in circles looking for this goddamn guy. Where is he? Kachina. There you are. Hey, what can I do for you? Well, Detroit gave me some thermite to destroy the guns. Well, what the fuck are you talking to me for? Go destroy the damn guns so we can move on. Hey, right. what can I do for you? Uh, ask some questions. All right, let's have them. Spoke to Clandon. Couldn't get anything. I figured you might have that problem. That guy's pretty much a mystery. I did some asking around about him. On the down low, of course. Turns out the boss's plans are right fucked without him. Killing him would probably work wonders. Just don't let anyone see you do it. All the questions I have. Thanks. Okay, you can find me here or upstairs. Yeah, I know. I know where to find you. Okay, we can't wear a gun openly, so whenever we take him out, we need to do it quietly. Bye bye. Over here. Think we're good. Dude was loaded. Funny, I would expect someone like him to have had a safe. Ah! Snuff tapes. The hell does that mean? Perfect sounds of murder and violence. You can hear Clandon engaging in violent sex with women, then hear the sounds of visceral and violent murder being carried out. He's the kill guy. He's their cleanup. Okay. What the fuck is that thing? Main level. Kachino. Clandon is dead. You want me to blow hey, the guns now? I can do, do that. Uh, Clandon's been handled. Oh, is that so? Well, I can't say that I'm sad to see that fucker gone. What's the next step? Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. Okay. Why? As long as they're alive, they can start up their plans again. All you've managed to do is stall them. I guarantee you they have contingencies. How do we take care of them? They're a little bit upset about what's been done to muck up their plans. They task me to find out who's responsible. There isn't going to be another chance to get both of them together in the same room. I'll slip you a gun, and we can take them out. They're gonna expect something from me. Why don't you do it? Surprise them. Alright, I'll take care of them. 
Just give me the word when to start shooting. Not ready to take him out just yet. Uh, I'm gonna go blow the thermite. Hurry and get ready. I'll be waiting for you there when you're ready. Noted. I want to stand back. This one's going to be loud. Gamora is always open for business. Oh, I'd say that safely handled things. What the fuck is that thing? It's called Boone. That is extremely rude. You're not one for moving around much in here, are you, Eddie? Buddy, that's a wall. Okay. I'll take care of them when you're ready. Just say the word. I suggest doing it while they're talking to get the drop on them. Whoa, you managed to pull that off? Solid work. That ought to gum up the boss's plans. Yep. Let's go. Later. Hey, what can I do for you? Let's go take care of them. Hurry and get ready. I'll be waiting for you there when you're ready. Hey, you're Cachino's friend. You got business with me? What kind of business do you do? We run a hotel. What do you think our business is? Nothing, never mind. All right, come back anytime. Hey, what can I do for you? Nothing. Let's Bye. get let's get to work. Hey. Hey, you're the one everyone's talking about. What business you got with me? What kind of business do you do? All kinds of business. Most of it is ours. See ya. Bye. <sighs> okay, fine. Hey, what can I do for you? See ya. Okay. Let's get this over with. Chino. Hey, thanks for all the hard work back there. I'm gonna run a tight ship here, don't you worry. Uh, I plan on playing some games. Of course, after all you did for me, here are some chips for you. Play, have some fun. Cheers. See ya. Bye. Alright, yes man. It looks like the Ometas are under control. Next step, White Glove. To be honest, Boone, as good a traveling companion as you are, you're not exactly set up for There's the White Glove Society. We're talking posh. If we're talking posh, 
I need someone else. Hey, Victor. Hey, the whole gang's in. Good. That's what I wanted. Where's Boone? Hey, Rexy. Boone. Sounds like it's gonna be an all-out war with the Legion soon. Maybe I should have re-enlisted after all. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I think we should part ways for now, though. If that's what you think. Meet up at the Lucky 38. I'll make my way there. Hmm. It's between Cass and Arcade. Arcade? What's up? Come on. We're heading to see the White Glove Society. There's something about that robot that doesn't seem... all right to me. I'm not saying we shouldn't take it with us. I'm just saying that if it were to fall into Lake Mead and be irreparably damaged, and if you threw an EMP grenade in after it, well, there are worse things happening in the world, right? Interesting. Come on. See you around. Let's go. One family down, another to go.